Fox 11 investigates is following up on the high cost to taxpayers to monitor convicted sex offenders on supervised release. A Fox 11 report detailed those costs last year, prompted a state audit, and now some changes. But as Mark Leland reports this evening, some say more needs to be done. Sex offenders on supervised release from Sand Ridge Treatment Center have to be monitored and escorted wherever they go. And you, the taxpayer, pay for that. And it's big money. Last year, taxpayers paid $1.2 million to monitor and transport some 30 sex offenders in the program. State Senate President Mike Ellis finds the cost a gross waste of taxpayer money and blames the Department of Health Services, which runs the supervised release program. If this was a private sector business, the board of directors would have gone in and kicked these people out. Fox 11 investigates uncovered the high cost being paid last year. That attention led to a state audit of the program. DHS was then ordered to implement changes as the result of cost-saving recommendations. The biggest issue? The amount DHS pays Attic Correctional Services. It collects $69.89 an hour. That's more than double the $30.87 an hour Attic charges Wisconsin's Department of Corrections for the exact same monitoring and transportation services. Why can corrections move you from A to B at one-third the cost of this agency? Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, you've read this stuff. There's no answer there. Why the different price? It, it makes no sense. Jason Cram heads up the supervised release program. I questioned him last fall as he worked to find a lower cost solution. Have you found that that's going to be a problem moving forward? Well, we're optimistic. You know, we're optimistic that we will be able to um, procure, purchase lower cost monitoring staff, monitoring and chaperoning staff. DHS met the April 1st deadline to report back to the Joint Legislative Audit Committee, but so far has not been able to lower the price it pays for monitoring. The current company providing the work addict services refuses to lower its cost to be more in line with what it charges DOC. The Department of Health Services last month issued a request for proposals for monitoring and transportation to find another more cost-effective alternative. Its current contract with Attic expires at the end of May. DHS was also able to save a projected $43,600 this year by purchasing washers and dryers for 10 of the state-rented homes where the sex offenders in the program live. The savings come from eliminating chaperone trips to the laundromat. But other chaperone trips came under scrutiny last year when I tracked down a former monitor. She felt many outings were a waste of taxpayer dollars. What kind of things were they allowed to do? Um, well, the, they could go exercise at a fitness place, uh, to go to the library for movies. You know, that was kind of ridiculous, I thought. And, you know, taking walks. Um, you would go on a walk with the right. sex offender? Yep. So he could get exercise. So he could get exercise. They paid you to go on a walk. Right. As a result, DHS Secretary Kitty Rhodes states in her report to legislators that a new policy has been written up to more closely review the need and frequency for chaperoned outings. DHS officials would not comment on camera about their cost-saving policies. They do say it's an ongoing effort. They will, though, have to confront legislators' questions at an audit committee hearing scheduled for later this month. We'll keep you posted. For Fox 11 Investigates, I'm Mark Leland. Last night, Mark highlighted the cost the state is also paying to rent homes for convicted sex offenders on supervised release, including what the state is doing to try to eliminate some of the excessive costs. That story is at fox11online.com.